Okay, Lisa, here I am and I'm going to show you some of the work that I've been doing. This is your footstool. And uh, Jeremy's going to have a friend of yours build a cushion that will fit inside of here and I'll put a base for it so that it can sit on. But what's really neat about this is that each of these slats of wood here fit into a groove that I that I cut into the legs. And in some cases, in this case here, the groove went all the way through to this side and you can see the bevel that I've made. In addition to that, each of these verticals are mortised, have tenons which stick into mortises in the top and bottom slats. This is fully assembled. I just need to do a little bit of more sanding work before it's ready for finishing. Now I'm going to switch to the, the chair itself. These are each of the two sides. Here's the arms and these are the, the verticals that give, which is characteristic of the stickly chair. They're made to essentially fit into, and let me show you this, they fit into a series of mortised holes that I've made for each of the verticals top and bottom. In addition to that, this is the arm. I haven't, I haven't done the trim up work yet on the top and the bottom, but you can see how it's fitted, ready to receive the tops of the legs and the top of this slat right here. The whole thing slides together. And these are arm supports which fit on the outside that are vertical on the legs. Um, interestingly, on the building of the arm, this is actually made out of two pieces of wood. I glued a piece here and we just cut this on the bandsaw to give it the curved shape and then I sanded it real smooth. The back was a real challenge. These are the, these are the verticals that make up the bat, back. You can see the mortises here ready to receive the back pieces. And then these are the backs that uh, fit in. And they're all, they all slide right in place. I have to sand these and clean them up yet. I just did them about, just before we went off on vac vacation. The top's a little bit wider and then each of the four bottom uh, backs are of an even size. And you have a choice. You can either put a cushion in front of this, which I'm not really in favor of because you, you lose seeing the beauty of this cherry wood. Now, beyond 